Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today we're going to be working with the car again with the misfiring issues as always. We did do a fuel pump change in the car. You guys want to check that out. Uh, no, it did not fix the misfires. So I was going to be making this video at, th at this time. Anyways, we're going to be doing some uh, intake uh, valve cleaning because I do not want to remove this intake manifold because I don't have the tools at the moment. So for now, we're going to try to do some intake valve cleaning, which is basically we're going to be puncturing the nipple on the side right here of the intake manifold to go ahead and run some uh, some valve cleaner through there. And uh, what we're going to be using for the valve cleaning is going to be this uh, CRC, uh, what is it, intake valve turbo cleaner. Uh, basically, we're going to spray this in there, spray the whole bottle in there, by the way. And you have to let it sit for about an hour. Then after that, you got to go ahead and drive it on the highway at highway, highway speeds. Do not rev it, do not floor it, just drive it normal for 10 minutes straight at a consistent speed. Which is going to be hard for you. It's which just... is going to maybe be hard for me, but nah, I think it'll be fine. We're, we're, we're going to put a timer. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's what we're going to be doing, guys, for that. And the way we're going to go ahead and uh, actually puncture this nipple, because actually this is sealed, guys. It's not open at all. I actually purchased a, uh, it's already open, by the way, but... I purchased a boost tab from ECS Tuning, by the way, and basically it's, it's it's something that you you would like to do if you have like a boost gauge inside your vehicle. It gives you three uh, vacuum lines that you can run through here, three little holes. I mean, it comes with nipples. I don't know if you guys catch it on the camera, but it comes with three little nipples that you can put on there if you have three vacuums that you're trying to run through or or, or something. But anyways, this is the thing we're gonna be using, guys. Uh, puncture it seal it after we do the whole cleaning because you don't want to puncture that and leave it open because if you do leave it open then you have engine pumps check engine light epc light you know etc etc so this is something we're going to use to seal the the hole that i'll be puncturing on the on the intake manifold yeah let's get this going all right guys before we go ahead and empty the whole bottle in the car and you know we do the whole process i'm going to read you guys the directions you have to make sure that your engine is warm. Spray through the vacuum line, which we're gonna do through there. Uh, it says uh, brake booster. I don't know what that is. Anyways, uh, efficient use warm up engine for best return. Make sure you're putting your idle at 2000, uh, 2000 RPMs. We're gonna go ahead and spray the whole bottle and let it sit for a whole hour. E three. So the boost tab comes with this uh, tool to puncture the intake manifold. It's just basically a, a nail. That's basically what it is. But you're gonna need a hammer for this, by the way. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, insert it right here in the little hole, just like that. And we're gonna grab a fucking big ass hammer I brought. Well, I guess the guy said in the video, it's not, I don't take too much force. Apparently it does, huh? There we go. So there it is, guys. It's punctured like a son of a gun. Now we gotta pull it off. All right, guys. So these nipples are the ones that it comes with, right? Correct. Um, it has three holes that you can use these if you have three vacuum lines or one vacuum line, but you have a boost gauge or whatever. You put this in here. You take off these plugs that come with the with the boost tab. But obviously I'm not using none of these nipples because I'm just using it for for cleaning at the moment at least. I plugged up the holes already. They're all nice and plugged, I think. Let me make sure they're nice and sealed. Seal them up. Okay. They're good. Now we grab this boost tap and we insert it right there. And then we get this little this little lock right here. And it goes right on top of it. Like that. And obviously you push down. But for the for right now, I'm not gonna push down or lock it in. Uh because I gotta go ahead and run the cleaner through it now. So here we go. One minute two, hopefully this fixes something. I can, hear, I can hear the, the vacuum leak. Tell me this hole is big enough.
Hopefully this clean something. And it turned off. As I said, don't go too fast. Uh, I'll try it back on. Oh. <laughs> nice, Antonio. Nice. It will sound like shit, by the way, but it's fine. The car's gonna be okay. another way you can do this but I just didn't do it I don't know I feel better just getting a boost up and getting out of the way you can actually take off the map sensor that's right on top of the empty manifold right here basically take it off and then you'll have like a clear hole to clean it in there and it's been an hour guys it's actually dark already we're gonna go ahead and start the car See what happens but before we start the car i'm gonna run the obd 11 scan some uh, codes off and erase them off the car and then start the car it's gonna smoke uh maybe a lot but see what happens we're gonna just connect this and get some get the epc light off and the check engine light off before we start the car uh it takes a while though all right so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh scan the car it's gonna find a bunch of problems like vacuum leak and stuff like that but we'll be back in a few moments as soon as it gets to 20 the 20 things that it scans and uh yeah all right guys so the the obd 11 is done scanning now we're gonna go ahead and just and erase them off so it's gonna erase the three faults that it found it only found three faults i'm surprised uh so i clear them off and we're gonna start the car there it goes Oh, before as a matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and run the live data for the engine. See what's going on with the misfires. Uh, turn that off right there. Start the car. There it goes. So it's it's kind of scary, guys, but it is what it is. I mean, you're putting something that sh like it's kind of, it it goes there, but obviously the car is. It, it's not meant for something like that but the car started it started for a while but it's it's on now so now what we're gonna do is get some gas because it's like on three bars of gas so we drove the car for 10 minutes already at 70 miles per hour we didn't gas it or anything we kept it on cruise control so now we're gonna go ahead and run the, the obd 11 again we had like 28 misfires on cylinder two and like two and one and four on the rest but anyways we're gonna we actually put to the side of the freeway we turn off the car uh we restarted the app again and now we're gonna see what happens you probably see that right there uh diego the misfires there's all the misfires that the car had and this, this is actually on the street driving so when you're giving a gas brake gas you know but now we're gonna see what happened see see if it made any difference at all it turned out fast it did Feels like it has a good idle. So we're gonna get a little bit of gas and see what happens. Yeah, there's only like one now. It used to be 28 and, and it was misfiring by itself. It was really bad guys. But as you guys see in the beginning of the video when we were starting the car, the car didn't want to start. And the reason behind that is because you gotta just think about all the stuff that you sprayed in there. Well, all that stuff is stuck in it. It's stuck in the cylinder. So whenever the gas is, the injector is trying to spray the gas, and the spark, the spark is trying to ignite. It can ignite because it has all that liquid and cleaner in it, right? So the car was trying to start while all that cleaner was in it, and it wasn't gonna happen. So if you do happen to go through that, you just gotta turn, let the car turn off the car. 
and tried to start it again and it should start it's gonna start kind of like kind of like bugging out but it'll be fine and, and nothing's gonna happen other than that guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this uh video was really informative for you guys and uh make sure to like and subscribe and uh see you guys in the next video peace